Brock Tozer here at the CHRI studios, and look who came by. It's Brian Dirksen. Brian, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. Appreciate you swinging in. Now, we want to talk primarily about your Christmas album, The Heart of Christmas, and you brought it, actually, I wasn't expecting you to do this, but you brought it on vinyl, yes. which is amazing. Yes. Uh, but you also <laughs> released a couple of months ago in October, I guess, what would traditionally be called a greatest hits or a, a retrospective collection. Right. And I know you redid a couple of the songs, kind of reimagined a few of the songs. Yeah. Maybe talk about those. It was two songs, right? That you I, re I reimagined six. Si oh, six. Six of the 16 that are on there. So how did you choose those six? Well, I think, I think those six were the songs that I felt like were legacy songs of mine, but I didn't have a recorded arrangement that I still really liked liked right. believed in and i i just wanted to reimagine those six okay and uh one of them was faithful one yep one of them was you shine yep uh talk a little bit about faithful one specifically uh, would you consider that to be your signature song come now's the time to worship is probably more, so, more okay. signature but for me personally faithful one is a little bit more signature because it's what, why is that because it means it's, more to you yeah it came out of a it came at the beginning it came in a moment when uh i was overwhelmed with being a first-time father and just trying to hang on to god in the midst of uncertainty and i love that it's ultimately about the love of God and that that's the anchor for everything. So that that to me has endured. Mm -hmm. So the heart of Christmas is the new Christmas album and uh, sort of the backstory on this is last year you released Hope of the Nations with Christmas lyrics. It was yep. very well received, but you had in your mind uh, uh, this Christmas album kind of mapped out in your mind yep. and you ran a Kickstarter campaign, Yep. hit your goal. <laughs> yep. So mm -hmm. you were you in the studio last christmas starting already to work on yes. these yeah okay. so so it was about a 12 i mean a 12 month process the writing and then i started recording last christmas we recorded two of the songs but we were also already starting to arrange and imagine the other songs okay. and then once we knew we hit our goal as we tipped into the the 2019 then we went full at it you know mm. for the first six months of this year and one of the songs that you're going to be promoting to radio is a song called Magical Lights. Talk about that particular song. Magical Lights is really special to me because it was me revisiting my childhood, right? Where I'm like, I'm sitting like this childlike wonder at the foot of the Christmas tree. I turned, I had this thing, I turned off all the lights in the living room, just the Christmas lights are on. And then I would put on a vinyl Christmas record and I would sit there as a boy and I would just dream of Christmas but I'd also start thinking about what the story of Christmas is about and there's this aha moment in the song Magical Lights where I talk about you know that these the, the this tree that's holding these ornaments and sheltering our presence gave up its life to to come into our living room mm -hmm. you know so for me it was like childlike wonder but it was also connecting to the story of Christ and um yeah, and I so that's how we decided first single, and that's how we opened the album. So the one one of the latter tracks on the album is "Silent Night," and you do some of the song in German. Yes. Did you do that because you wanted to pay homage to the history of the song? Absolutely. I I, I love I love uh, respecting the original writers, and that was originally written in German. And my parents' mother tongue is German. So apparently, even I spoke German as a boy until I entered school at home sometimes. They would speak German with me. And then eventually, they just spoke German when they didn't want me to know what they were saying. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, singing in German, I think that's where Christmas carol singing comes from. And I wanted a nod in that direction. Do, did you remember much German or did you I have do, to like I relearn it? To well, I, 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 I had a coach helping me. But, but the thing is, I actually understand quite a bit of German. And something about the stille Nacht and, and these things just comes very naturally to me. So, yeah, I love, I love it. I love hearing music in German. I love singing it. Okay, so we're going to be posting this interview uh, first week of December. Um, what's on your, your heart? What's on your mind? What do you want to say to our listeners? What are you feeling heading into Christmas this year? As I head into Christmas, the thing that's most on my heart is that 
Emmanuel, this, this, this name of, of, of Christ at his birth means God is with us, which means he's with us in whatever we're going through on our, I say in our mess and in our magic, you know, in, in, in the beautiful things and in the hard things, but it's not just with us. He's with all of us. He's with the people who we don't agree with. He's the people who are different than us. He's with the people on the margins. He's with all of us. He's with every strata of society. And I, I think we need to re- revisit and re, re, um, just have that go deep into our hearts that Christ is with all of us. Awesome. Thanks so much, Brian. You're welcome. <laughs>